Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, let's understand what is Pandas Melt and how we can use it. In Pandas, Melt is a function used for reshaping data frames. So when I say reshaping, it actually it takes a wide data frame. So remember the term wide data frame and transforms that wide data frame into a long one. Now the question comes, what do I mean by wide data frame and what do I mean by long data frame? Now it makes it easier to work with data and analyze the data in a proper way. Now these are the two keywords when the term comes melt. Remember it will transform the wide data frame to a long one. I am going to show you practically. So let me first print this data frame. So if you see, I used a term called wide data frame. Wide means if you see here we have the names of the students and there are different subjects math, physics, chemistry, biology, history. So this is a wide I mean there are multiple number of columns here. Now can I transform this one to a smaller or a longer data frame. So this is a wide if you see this is quite wide right there are multiple columns. Now can I make it to some three columns or something like that and show it in a longer way. So that is where we will be using this melt. We are going to melt the data frame. Now let's see how do you really melt the data frame. Now first of all you remember as on a long run you will be dependent on this kind of documentation because it is highly possible one may not recall the exact parameters to be used while going for a melt. So you first open the documentation. So this is your documentation in front of you. Well, now let me show you with examples. Let me create a data frame called melted data frame. You can give any name you want. I'm giving melted data frame is equals to. Now as per the syntaxes we will go. So it uses pandas.melt. So same thing you will write pd. pd is my alias that I've created. So here I'm saying pd dot melt simple and then next you are passing the data frame look at the documentation is it saying frame so you are passing the data frame then you are putting a comma now the next important one is your id vars what is id vars i'll explain you first of all let us write id underscore vars is equals to now look at it while you are transforming or melting this wide data frame to a longer data frame you would like to keep some of the columns intact you don't want to touch them so that is the id vars so what this id vars do if you look at the definitions columns to use as identifier variable or you don't like to really touch them or modify them okay that is the meaning now here i would like to keep uh, the name as by you see I'm passing name so name as mine because it is a single element you don't have to use a square bracket simply write if there are multiple elements multiple columns where you don't want to touch them that's where you pass it here you want to keep it secure id variables you want to keep it secure is it clear now let's say I'm going to run this okay before I run let me simply print this melted underscore data frame now if I'm going to print it now look at what happened this wide data frame has now been transferred into a longer data frame if you see how many columns we had one two three four five six now how many we have three so the name column because i have passed here it did not touch it it has remained intact rest of it has been transformed now you see all the subjects has been kept like this and the values for those subjects for each student has been kept like this okay now one of the problem here the column name has changed here it said variable it here it said value it did not say subject it said variable and value now how do you pass that input while you are melting you have to pass that input now to pass the input now wherever the variable is written you will pass something called var underscore name variable name so let me first pass it for example comma here it is saying variable right so simply say variable underscore name is equals to and I want to give a name called subject. 
If you run this, if you see, this will get going to get transformed, it becomes subject. Same thing you want to change the value. Okay, no problem. So there is a val value underscore name. Okay, value underscore name. So all these parameters you can always refer in the documentation. Value underscore name. And here instead of value, I want to see it as score. So now you will see the value will you are giving a name to this column. Okay, that's all. So you run it, it, uh, it has got a name called score. So that is the simple example of how do you use the melt function in pandas. So finally, what we have learned in pandas, melt is a function used for reshaping data frames. It takes a wide data frame. We saw that we took a wide data frame as our input and transformed that wide data frame into a long one. So to remember it for a very long time, what you are remembering? melting something which is wide into a longer one so you can imagine uh, iron which is a wider one you are melting it and is dropping falling down so it is becoming so like that you can imagine and remember these terms for a very very long time and anyways for your syntaxes your documentation is always available so thank you for watching give it a like to this video and do share with your friends who would like to learn in an easy manner thank you guys for watching let's meet once again in our next content